this. So let us create one uh, start with how to get landscape. So first, uh, open the Unreal Engine. So it takes maybe 30 seconds to one minute to open the engine. So once it is open, so you can see the few left side some tools you can see. So you can now, uh, if you like to work on the game project, or you like to uh, create the movies or videos, or you are you like to work in the architecture or automobile. So I let, let me choose game and uh, which template you like to choose first person, third person, top down. So different templates are there. So you can choose third person so because there is one character. So seeing that character, you can make your scene uh, scale correctly. Okay, let us choose third persons. And uh, if you would like to choose some uh, basic material contents, all those things, you can enable that. Right now, leave like that. So you can uh, choose the folder and name of the project, right? So let us give the class one. So create. So it will compile the status, maybe another 30 seconds, the Unreal Engine interface you can see. So this is the version 5.3.2. So let us 5.4 is come. So I'll I suggest, I'll I suggest one more person be, before you can work. So but sometimes plugins will not support. Okay, fine. So okay, right. So let's uh, start the things. So the by default, you can see the your third person level game. Uh, this is the level. Uh, if you click on the play and you can see the your third person character using the uh, arrow key, uh, or arrow, down arrow, and right and left, you can see the your thing. So this is the scene. So to press escape, then you can come back. Uh, you can see stop, or this is play, and this is the stop simulation, like that. So let us create our own uh, landscape. So how to create that? We'll see. Uh, so you can see here. Uh, so like Maya, uh, you you know Maya that it will be easy scene like interface. Alt left mouse button, middle mouse button, right mouse button. Almost like Maya, move, rotate, scale, everything is there. And you can see here all the views and uh, different wireframe mode, lit, unlit mode. And like Maya, you have which one like to show or you want to make display or visible or invisible. Uh, almost uh, like my hyper my user, it will be very easy if you don't know my user, no issues. So now let us create one new level. So file and go to the new level. So let us check uh, very empty. These are the already is there, but I like to make very empty. So nothing is there. So it will be blank. Okay, nothing is there. So you can see the right side outline and nothing that no uh, objects are there. Nothing is there. You can see it is completely empty. So your scene looks very empty right now. So how to get the light? So you should know this tool, which is called when you go to the windows. This is the very nice tool is environment light mixer. So go to there, click that, and you can see if you want to create skylight, then skylight will generate. So right now you can see the outline skylight is generated. The next atmosphere light, it is generated skylight, then direction light is generated, then create sky atmosphere, then you can see the way the sky is done, then click all those things, create height fog, all those things, and finally. Uh, scroll down and volumetric for also you should enable that's all so you can see outline of all those things are created so so right now your scene is ready you can see the sky clouds uh, fog everything is there right if you uh, select your light and uh, press ctrl l and you can rotate your light and you can see the light position is changing okay so ctrl l you can type and you can change the light direction and all those things you can make like that okay fine so uh i think well, one more light created i make straight on pilot so now uh this is uh, done so you can also press e uh you can see the rotation and your sun is rotating like this you can see sun is coming here nicely and this way you can make it morning evening like that okay fine right so sunrise, all those things you can create like that. So just rotate the light is fine. Now uh, let us create one landscape. Right now empty, nothing is there, just environment you have, but no landscape. So how to create landscape? Right now you're in selection mode and go to landscape mode, right? So there are different modes are there. We'll see one by one first. This 
session we'll see only how to create landscape so you can see by default it is created something if you create the by default it will create something like as you can see here and this is your landscape here, flat landscape and if you want to sculpt it there is some sculpting tools are there you can sculpt the things so maybe uh, to create one terrain it will take long time so i suggest you can bring the import the height map you will get all the information just create one image you'll get the landscape ready so you'll see that shortcuts okay so this will be very uh time consuming right so again go to the selection mode and uh, select your landscape i think you can select your landscape i can press delete so it will come on right so now go to the landscape and you can see create news the right side you can see import from file okay so this is the button where you can bring your image so for that we need some height maps so how to get that my height map so i'll share the link to you and in the description i share the link so you can go to this unreal height map you can i'll share this link so wherever you want the landscape just okay, so this is a sign on a part of that area and see you can anywhere in the world so real from the real location you can take the landscape so you can see the what is the width and height of the map you like if you want bigger one then go for bigger one but your system how much supports start with 1k by 1k so here it will generate you can see so it is almost like right so create height map just you take the create height map so what will happen uh it will so you can see it is downloaded okay you can go to the folder you can go to the folder and this is the height map you can see yes so this is the so white colors will be uh you can see the up and uh, black color will go down and gray will be the so that's why you can see the white to black information will be there so black will go down white will go x so pure white will go extreme so so that's why your mountain will generate using this so now uh what i'll do i'll take this image or what you can do you can take to unreal how to take this unreal so uh go to the content browser you can see the um uh, here it is content browser so in the content we can create a folder and bring a map right so bottom you can see the content all the folders are there so anything you want to bring from outside you should put in the content so new folder then create a right click new folder and hide map. now what you can do so go to the download and drag and drop here yeah. yes it is done so it is asking import done so you can go to the see this is your image here so fine so now you can drag to here or you can import also no issues right so get this you can directly from go to the download so you can import or you can go to the, your settings anything is fine okay open so now you can see the preview so now i it is going very slowly camera movement so how to make faster you can see here the camera speed you can increase because it's huge mountain huge area you can see this is the preview this is not final this is the preview you can see so uh if you want to have the final one so you can go for import okay so you know that what i suggest you scale it 50 percent so it will be proportionally be correct so make it 50 so this will be the proportion so height to it right so before it is too high, so make it 50% half of this, then you can go for import that's all. So bring the image and now you can see it's very nice detailed terrain. So this is what it is very easy to create the terrains. You need not sculpt, just get the image from any location and generate. And it's very, very good stuff to create the terrain. And next session. I'll teach you how to create the materials on this. So you can create landscape materials and uh, create the foliage, then create the other elements. So you can see one by one. So hope till this you understood.